look at how auroras form. Now, Earth, as it spins, creates a magnetic field. That magnetic field protects us from getting direct impacts from a lot of charged particles, protons and electrons, that come from the sun in what is known as a solar wind. These charged particles run into Earth's magnetic field, and a lot of times those particles will travel around the field. Now, as they travel around the field, some of those particles end up entering into Earth's atmosphere through the poles, either North Pole or South Pole. Now, as those charged particles enter our atmosphere, they interact with different molecules that develop at different heights in our atmosphere. So, for example, as those charged particles come in and interact with oxygen, you get those interactions between the protons and electrons and the oxygen, and that, at the upper levels of the atmosphere, creates a reddish color. Lower down in the atmosphere, it creates more of a green color, and as those charged particles interact with nitrogen, that can give you more of those blue colors in some of your auroras, or pink auroras, where you get uh, nitrogen molecules that are struck by those charged particles lower down. And of course, as you uh, go through the night tonight, if you are able to see some of those northern lights, be sure to send in photos and take note of any photos and colors that you might see out there.